and the strategic lead for Strand 2 and that has involved me going to the working groups within Pioneer School and also bringing it back to the school and also the consortium working with practitioners across the foundation phase and key stage 2. The key features to the approach of developing the area of learning experience has been to look at our current practices and looking at the skills and the knowledge within the science technology OLE and deciding what is appropriate to carry on and what changes need to be made. We have invited external stakeholders onto the working groups which have involved and members from the Science Organisation and the Design and Technology Association data and we've been heavily involved with Bin Harlan and her big ideas. The scope and rationale for the science and technology area of learning experience has been broken down into science, computer science, design and technology which brings in many forms and also engineering. I have found the experience testing and challenging but in a positive way. We have looked at other curriculums across the world and decided about how we were going to emulate them and what aspects we wanted to take to make our curriculum stronger. It's a fantastic experience to have and to be given. The most productive part of the Strand 2 AOLE work has been so far looking at the overarching skills within the science and technology area of learning experience and how they can be put together and embedded into a context-based curriculum. Our next steps for Strand 3 are looking at building prototypes into two different ways of developing the curriculum to allow schools from different backgrounds, environments and pupils to be able to embed the framework and create a curriculum based on the knowledge and skills within our framework that we're creating.